11. During a walkthrough of the construction site of an adaptive reuse structure, you notice the 9-inch square floor tiles that have asbestos in them. You therefore, okay, suggest encapsulation. Well, encapsulation is probably exactly the right thing to do, um, but really you're going to start telling people what to do about uh, potentially hazardous materials. Uh, you may know a fair amount about it, but you are not an expert at it. Um, so uh, while it's probably the right choice, uh, because you don't really want to necessarily rip it out because that's just going to put all the asbestos out into the air. Uh, so encapsulating it, meaning putting a new floor over it and make it so that it's very hard for anybody to actually get anywhere near that uh, asbestos. Um, so while a nice idea, definitely not the correct answer. You're not going to suggest anything to anybody. Uh, B, get the GC to remove the material ASAP before someone gets hurt. Well, again, that's exactly the wrong thing, right? Because you are, first of all, telling the GC, the GC to do something illegal, probably. Um, but also, uh, you're going to start pulling that material out. You're just going to be putting that asbestos up into the air. Uh, maybe in the end, that's the right choice because it's better to get get it out of the way. But it's not something you would do just uh, on a on a on a whim. Um, so A and B are not correct. Uh, C, tell the subcontractor in that area to stop work. Um, while that may feel like a good thing to do to make sure that you're not uh, letting somebody work in a in a dangerous place, uh, as we said before, it's not your place to tell anybody to stop work. That's the job of the GC. Now you can have a discussion with the the GC uh, or the owner and say, look, you know, I'm I'm nervous about this. This looks like uh, it's possibly asbestos. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be writing a note that says, I think it's asbestos, you probably should have uh, an environmental uh, evaluation done. Um, and hopefully that would trigger the GC to say, hey, maybe I better get that, that subcontract out of there. But you're not supposed to tell any subcontractor to either start or stop working. So the correct answer, D, tell the owner there might be an issue with asbestos. Uh, you're not going to talk to anybody other than the owner, and you're going to say, you should check it out. There's probably a problem with asbestos. Thank you, Mike. Uh, and thanks to all of you who've tuned in. And if you'd like to attend our next ARE live broadcast, visit blackspectacles.com slash podcast to register. Uh, you'll have a chance to ask questions and share your answers with Mike for live feedback during the broadcast, just like today. Um, and to learn more about our AIA ARE prep curriculum, go to blackspectacles.com. Uh, we'll uh, include, a note, uh, include a link in the show notes. Uh, and for those of you who are ready and, and want to go ahead and get busy preparing for the ARE, uh, you can use a coupon, uh, a 15% coupon off the first charge on any AIA ARE prep membership with code 52715webinar. That's 52715webinar. Uh, and that'll expire on June 15th. Um, and of course, if you're already an AIA member, you can visit AIA.org slash ARE prep to get a 30% discount for the entire duration of your AIA ARE prep membership, not just the first charge. Um, and that also uh, expires on June 15th. Um, and finally, uh, please leave a comment below the video to let us know what you think um, and share any suggestions um, that you may have. I promise uh, we'll read every word that you write and use them to tune our next episodes. Uh, so thanks for watching.